I'm Elizabeth Feinler, and usually known as Jake, that's my nickname, and I ran the contract for the Network Information Center on both the ARPANET and the Defense Data Network back in the 70s and 80s. There were two big services on the network at the time. One was a NIC and one was a NOC, Network Operations Center, Network Information Center. Uh, the NOC was more involved with whether the backbone was, everything was working. Uh, we were more involved with keeping people informed. And one of the things I used to pride myself on was if a new group came along, and often that would be someone who think, we're going in this direction. And I would try to say, well, the internet's, you know, there's, there's a, uh, a way of doing business, a way of interacting with people, and, and we would introduce them to that. We provided, in the early days, that nothing was online. There were no online documents, so it was a lot of hard copy. And we made a transition from providing information in hard copy to providing information uh, online. Um, one of the things I kind of pride myself on, we in the early days we put out uh, the directory, which was sort of the phone book of the internet. And uh, there were a lot of military people, there were a lot of uh, graduate students, so it was a spectrum of users and developers. And uh, these were, in the 70s, there were some, uh, a lot of uh, strong feelings about you know, the Vietnam War, the military and whatnot. So I took it upon myself not to put anybody's title in the directory. So that meant that everybody was talking to everybody and they didn't know who they were talking to. And I thought that was kind of democratic at the time. <laughs> First of all, the Network Information Center was in California. And most of military users uh, were, not all, but a lot of them were in the, uh, they were all over the world actually, but a lot of them were in different time zones. So we would come on early in the morning and then we'd still be getting telephone calls, you know, as we went out the door. And so finally we, uh, we had, uh, by the time I left, we had a official uh, phone service uh, hotline from five in the morning until, uh, five at night California time and that was eight o'clock at night on the East Coast time and uh, but the machines were very crowded and they were very tiny and you couldn't run a program and have users using it at the same time so if you wanted to run a big program you usually had to do it overnight so sometimes we would be there till midnight and sometimes we'd be there do what we called a rollover. You'd be there all night and then have to run the hotline the next morning. You're not sure who you were at that point, but uh, there was a lot of dedication. I remember coming up when we were cutting over to TCPIP. It was a lot of work and uh, I remember one of my programmers, I went down to the stairs to get something. I came back up and he's asleep on the stairs. <laughs> he went down to get a Coke and he fell asleep on the way back. <laughs> so that was a kind of dedication. They, they were, everybody was really dedicated to making this thing work. Privacy was not an issue. And I think that security wasn't in the sense that most people were builders of the network in, in, my, in my time. So they wanted things to be open so they could get at them, fix them, change them, look at them, compare. You know, it was that kind of, and it was a, a research environment. From the time that I was on, I would say the World Wide Web hit just about the time. It was starting up when I left, and that is the killer app. Uh, that is the thing that opens the network up to the world and is very exciting. And uh, of course, the commercialization of the network in my day, the, all the companies were trying to get into it. Now they own it, you know, so it's a whole, a whole different situation. Well, I'm, I'm very positive about, I mean, the access that people have is incredible now. Uh, you know, as I said, I went to this small university, or it was a state's college. We didn't, there was no way we had access to the kind of information that any kid has today. And it's, that's fascinating to me. Uh, also, the, the way people can interact with each other. I mean, I, I, could anybody have imagined their grandmother using a computer? I mean, this is ridiculous and it's wonderful. Uh, but it's, it's exploded so fast that, you know, there are problems and, and uh, they're going to have to be worked out. And so that's a concern. I 
there's things on the net I wish weren't there, but that's, you know, that's, uh, there's, it's, it's a vehicle. There's going to be good, there's going to be bad. And I don't think you, using the vehicle as the hammer is going to be the answer. We're going to have to work it out as humans, like we always have to work out things that are good or bad.